would like to make an opening statement and answer questions. Okay. Uh, yeah, just excited to be continuing to um, play with this team and saw some uh, really exciting things and good things out of uh, our performance here today. I thought great contributions from all over, um, especially some kids off the bench. I thought Callan Hake really gave us a spark in the first half, and um, Kendall Moriarty played with great confidence and, and um, you know, got some blocked shots from Kendall Coley and, and just – uh, lots of people jumping in and contributing, and so that's uh, outstanding to see this time of year and a uh, great quality win over a great quality opponent that we have a ton of respect for. So um, just thrilled with that, and, and probably the, the best thing about the day was just the amazing crowd that showed up to support us on very short um, ticket sales and kind of notice and um, to have our third largest home crowd of the season um, when – there's only about 48 hours or so advanced to, to purchase tickets and to make plans to be here. We really appreciate that and I'm just grateful to be a part of Husker Nation. That's a great question. Um, you know, I didn't get to see the play. I really don't know. I think we'll have to wait until tomorrow till we have a little further evaluation on that. Yeah, I thought that, um, you know, she played outstanding, obviously, in our first round game again, you know, and scored 25 points, really sparked us. I thought she was off to a, a great start in this game and, um, you know, three steals and, and two assists and no turnovers, was really controlling tempo and pace. And um, Sam and I have been through just a lot of things together uh, in in uh, five years. Um, and so, yeah, I'm just going to be praying for her. Yeah, I mean, I thought they really came together, and um, I think everybody felt like I need to rise to the occasion, and um, we had saw several people that did that, and um, it's really, it's not the first time we saw that this season. I thought that that happened a little earlier in the year when we lost Allison Widener, and, and she went down, and we had several people that stepped up in that triple overtime game and, and um, contributed and, and wanted to wanted to do it, you know, for Allison and wanted to do it today here for Sam and kind of finish things out strong. And, and so um, it was great to see uh, lots of people kind of step up and, and try to make up for her loss. Well, I think she's taken to heart the fact that we know we've got a rebound. And, and obviously in the last ball game, she came away with double figure rebounds and we still gave up 26 offensive rebounds to Missouri State. And that was something that was a huge focus for our team, wanting to keep them in single digits on the boards. We, were, we did a much better job of that in this particular ball game. Izzy was a huge contributor to that. I think um, Izzy has, uh, when she's confident to be able to go inside and outside to score points, when she can hit a couple threes like she did today, but also go down and take smaller opponents down and be effective on the low block and, and post up. Um, and then also give us that versatility on the defensive end where she can defend on the perimeter. And, and if we need her to go down and um, guard the other team's five players inside, she, she, uh, she's pretty, pretty valuable, pretty um, versatile, and, and then just an outstanding piece for our uh, program and, and our coaching staff to be able to utilize. Where is that wood at? So, I, <laughs> knock on it, knock on it. So, yeah. No, it's, it's um, outstanding. I was really proud of, um, you know, in the first half, we knew Northern Iowa has shown a lot of different defensive looks. In the first half, I thought they played quite a bit of man to man defense, but even in their man to man, there's several different stunts. You know, they can uh, double your post guard to post. They can double your post, post to post. They can ice ball screens. They can, you know, different different um, types of looks and stunts out of their man-to-man -man defense. And in the first half, to have handled all of that well and not have any turnovers at halftime was, um, was outstanding. Then I thought in the second half, they started to mix in some more of their kind of trapping zones and some things like that. And, and um, 
we had uh, turned it over a little bit more in the second half, but I thought still seemed to have control of the ball game and kind of never got away from us what we were trying to do to attack um, their switching defenses. Yeah, I was pleased with the way we responded. Um, I thought they did get up early, and um, we had a couple of huge baskets. Sammy's three that she hit uh, right before the end of the first quarter, um, I thought was a was a really big shot, and and um, uh, just had some great response from that first uh, first quarter where they hit uh, several three point shots um, on our defensive rotations. Yeah, I mean, it is kind of uh, unique in the sense, sense that, you know, it's not really pre-scripted. You don't really know. We won't know until tomorrow night late um, if we are hosting in the next round and if we are, what game, what day, what, you know, um, who our opponent's going to be, you know. So some of that uncertainty is a little unsettling for the um, people that um, have to handle some of the um, logistics of it, but um, but it's certainly kind of exciting when you're in preparation, just um, you know, preparing for that tournament kind of next round, who's up next, and and you got to get yourself ready in a hurry, and and so our team is just excited for the opportunity. Well, it's great when you're at Nebraska. Um, that's outstanding uh, because we have such incredible fan support and. Um, and you know, have our third largest home crowd out here today with very limited opportunity to, to, to kind of prepare and sell those tickets is pretty special. Um, I think it says a lot for uh, University of Nebraska, our athletic department, and the support that we get from this amazing state and our fan base. And um, if that can help us continue to be able to have the opportunity to host and play in front of great crowds, uh, we're, we're all for that. Hey, y'all. Coach Woods. All right. Thanks, Thanks everybody.